Good morning everybody. It's day 22 of the 100 day project. Um, today I'm just going to do a really quick um, little notepad to add to a project that I'm working on. So before I get started, uh, you would need, if you, you know, if you want to do it this way, you're going to need the framelits with the graduated um, hearts. And I've had several people ask me about mine. When they are cut out, they look almost like they've been sewn. <laughs> Trust me, they have not. That's the way the framelits are. So you get that nice sewn edge. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to point that out before we get going. And... to make sure I can get this through my big shot. So what I'm going to do with the large one, I'm going to cut out um, two of these. Okay, let me grab a piece of plain cardstock, guys. I was going to do two of these, <clears throat> one for the front and one for the back, but... don't want to waste my cardstock to print out another one so I'm just going to use a plain back but if you if you do this with just scrapbooking paper no problem you could cut out two and then the next size down I've just folded two sheets of paper this has been tea dyed because I want I want this project to to be um, I don't want to use the white paper so I'm just going to run this through a couple of times. So now we've got two little sheets, and then I'm going to do another one. And this is, um, this paper I'm working with is Dreams, etc., Romantic Notions. I'll put the um, link to Jennifer's shop in the box below in case you want to check that out because they are gorgeous designs. This is a super quick. Um, Little idea that I had the other night, and I'll I'll explain it as we go along. So I'm going to save those because I might be able to use them elsewhere. Okay, so I was thinking about how um, we see a lot of um, journals with. Um, book rings, and I thought, oh, why couldn't we use, I think these are called jump rings, and I i don't know, I ended up buying these at the flea market, guys, and I am not into jewelry making, so I can't tell you what size they are, but, you know, you're just going to have to think in terms of what size you think would work and I don't know I've not done this so this is this may not work but I thought it would be so oh, you know what I already see 
these need to all be the same size. Okay, sorry guys, everything needs to be cut the same. I was not thinking because for that to be larger is going to have it off. Okay, so I'm going to have to do that. Let me run those through. Ah, so there you go, guys. Live programming again. So this is the next size down. And I'm just going to run. I should be able to get two of these. others won't be wasted. I will absolutely um, make use of those. Uh, as I'm making this, I'm already thinking of another, another little idea, guys. Okay, see this is how I, I get something in my mind and then as I start working, I think, ooh, hang on there. Okay, so back to my thought process, process was... Um, you know, we use book rings to make our little journals, and I thought, well, how cute, just to put, so I'm going to get all these lined up, and I'm hoping that this is going to go through. Now, I'm going to use that small hole, because I don't want it to be that very big, and I think, I want to leave enough so that there's no chance of that coming out. And like I said, guys, I'm not a jewelry maker, so... Um, but, of course, I've bought all of the, the tools required. <laughs> Just on the off chance that I do become a jewelry maker. <laughs> um, no, I don't have everything I need. I know that from other videos I've watched, but I do have these two tool pliers and... I don't know if that's a plier or not, but that's what I'm calling it. So, see this. This is the part I could really use some instruction on. Is those little things, once you bend them out, they really don't seem to want to go back. Oh, look. See, I like that. I, I think such a simple idea but I like the fact now you got that in your little pocket and it's kind of like a book a miniature like a Barbie book ring that would be like a Barbie size book ring okay so then I thought okay just then how cute we're gonna put this little if the glue let's let's pray let's pray that the glue is gonna be working it's been on holiday all weekend, so it's Monday morning. It's probably not going to want to cooperate, and it's not. So, dearie, dearie, dearie. Oh, and that's really the one I need because I need a very precise. All right, I'm just going to have to get out the pokey tool. Got to wake up my glues. They've had a... A long holiday weekend and even at the best of times you guys know they don't like to do what they're supposed to do come on now come on you can do it there we go okay so that's gonna be there I'm looking for, yeah, I like this shape. And I picked this up. 
because this coordinates really well with this kit. So, just put a little bit of that on there. Oh boy, I've got that glue on me. I should have aged that before I put it together. But anyways, you got the idea. Okay. So now I can see I want to put just a tiny bit of this. It's like an espresso colored um, linen thread. You guys know I love this in projects. I think sometimes I like just a little dainty rather than really fluffy. But that's just my my choice. Not everybody's going to feel the same and I, I understand that. Oh yeah, I like that. Alright, he needs something on him. Hang on. My room is, uh, you know, it's always in a bit of a mess. Um, this is my little stamp. This is how I keep my clear stamps. Um, but after this, all things going okay. I was going to show you guys a haul on what I got um, this last weekend. Okay, we need a little something, but it doesn't need to be very much because it's a very small space. Um, hmm. No, nothing in this one. Comes out. Um, let's see. Maybe just... I think just this tiny, I don't know, let's try this little butterfly here. I've not used this one for a while. I tend to forget what the image is. It doesn't need much. I just think some little something to, and this is the early espresso from Stampin' Up. I love this color. I think it just just that little little bit poking out there and I'll deal with this in a minute okay so that's too long I can already see so the other thing I mean you can decorate this up as much as you wanted really you could put you know, if you want to put, I don't know, because I want this, just bearing in mind, this is going to be going in a pocket, so I don't want to get too crazy, but I think it really could do with like a bit of lace. And I had some lace pulled out here. I might try that. That, that may be too thick. Because what I don't, I want to make sure I can still see that little ring because I, I just think it's sweet and if this is too thick I'll um oh no I think that's okay and see that'll be in a little pocket which I don't have to demo let me see guys if I've got something I can show y'all I don't think this one's got a pocket in it yet. No, it doesn't. Oh, oh well. You just have to use your imagination, guys. Anyways, that's. I know it's a really simple project, but I hope you like it. 
and it really wouldn't matter if you wanted to leave that your plain back, you know, or cards, like I said, use some scrapbook paper. But I just think it's sweet because you can just, and the, if you want to do a little stamping on there to add a bit more, but I don't think it needs it. You could even put a pocket in the front, a pocket in the back. Um, but I just think that's going to be really, really sweet in a pocket for, um, for this project. Okay, guys, I'm going to go because I've got a big haul to show you all, and I'll be back. Bye.